Hello students, I welcome you all to this session on EMFT and wave propagation. So, in this session we are going to discuss the numerical portion of the wave propagation part that is the unit 5 of EMFT and wave propagation. I hope you all have seen the previous videos where I discussed about the tutorial of unit 1 to unit 4. Now, in this video, we require some basic understanding about the wave propagation. So, you must follow my lecture videos on the wave propagation as well. If you have seen the lecture videos, now you can do these questions. Now, if you don't know what is the maximum usable frequency, what is the critical frequency and what is skip distance, what is height. So, you are required to go back to the lecture video first. Okay, now coming to the first question, it states a radio wave is incident on a layer of ionosphere at angle of 30 degree with vertical. So, if this is my vertical, so the radio wave is incident on the ionosphere. So, this is in the portion in the ionosphere and it is incident at the angle of 30 degree. So, this is my incident wave is making 30 degree with the vertical. If critical frequency is 1.2 megahertz, Fc is given 1.2 megahertz which means 1.2 into 10 raised to power 6 hertz. Find maximum usable frequency. Now, we know theta, we know critical frequency. I hope you remember what is critical frequency and the maximum usable frequency. Now, we can relate both of them. I hope you remember the relationship of both of them. So, FMUF was given as FC secant of I. Okay. Now, what is I? I is given. I is 30 degree. Okay, so Fc is also given. So Fmuf will be equal to 1.2 into 10 raised to power 6 into secant of 30. Okay, we know secant value. You can find out the value of secant 30 and you can find out Fmuf. Okay, so Fmuf will come out to be 1.386 into 10 raised to power 6 hertz so it is nearly equal to 1.386 or 38 we'll take one of 1 1.38 megahertz okay so now coming to the next question it states in the previous question find skip distance if h is equal to 100 kilometer so h is given h is 100 kilometer now Now we need to find out skip distance. Let the skip distance, we will be denoting it with D. I hope you remember what was the skip distance. Skip distance was the minimum distance for which the reflected wave will come back. So this is my skip distance. Okay, so I hope you remember its relationship with FMUF and FC as well and the height also. So skip distance was related as 2h under root fmuf upon fc square minus 1. So, this is the relationship between skip distance. So, d is representing my skip distance. Now, I hope you understood what is actually the skip distance. My wave is going in the uh, space and it is coming back after the reflection. So, height we have taken an imaginary height to be equal to 100 kilometer. So, we will be putting h is equal to 100. So, we are taking all of the quantities from the previous question. So, now FMUF we already found out it was 1.38 megahertz. FC was the given in the previous question it was 1.2 megahertz. So, we will be putting all these values. So, D will be equal to 2 into H. Now, if I am taking height in the kilometer, my skip distance will be coming out in the kilometers only. Okay, so 2 into 100. So, FMUF upon FC, which means 1.38 megahertz upon 1.2 megahertz square minus 1. 
okay so now megahertz is 10 raised to power 6 in denominator also we have 10 raised to power 6 it will get cancel out and here i'll be having 200 under root 1.38 upon 1.2 square minus 1 so 1.38 upon 1.2 it will come out nearly to be equal to 1.13 square minus 1 so what is 1.13 square so it will be coming out to be nearly equal to 200 under root 1.3 minus 1 so 200 under root 0. 3 kilometer is my skip distance so I hope now you understood how I found out the skip distance how I found out the maximum usable frequency and what is the relationship between all of them so actually unit 5 or the wave propagation unit is mainly based upon the theoretical part the numerical questions will be this easy only okay if it will come the numerical portion will be very easy and it will be only the direct formula based question so here like we knew the formula we just put the various values and we found out the computation so wave propagation is a scoring unit i hope you will be understanding this unit's concepts with more sincerity so i hope now i should stop this uh, tutorial session i hope you understood each and everything and still if you are facing any kind of difficulty in any portion you can uh, reach out to me i will try to make the tutorial session on that specific part or i will try to enhance these questions so that uh, you will get to know antenna and wave propagation and emft part also in the great detail so i will be stopping here i hope you will be meeting me soon in the next video session thank you so much